This is video 5 in our 6 network packet tracer lab series and in this video I'll be configuring DNS to match our HTTP web server at address 192.168.131 on our small packet tracer network. We've already configured the rest of the network with DHCP. If you're unsure about how to do that please go back and view video 4 in the series. Over here is a small hierarchy addressing system of how I would lay out addresses for a small to medium business using a class C address. Routers would be 192.168.1 through to 10. Switches would be 11 to 20. Printers would be 21 to 30. Servers 31 to 40 and any nodes 50 to 254. This would give me a bit of a buffer between 40 and 50 for any additional devices, guest Wi-Fi routers, etc. And just open up the DNS server services, go to DNS, make sure DNS is enabled. Now the name would be in our case, sysnetsolutions.co.uk, or so you can give it the own personal identification. The address would be 192.168.1.31. That matches our HTTP web server over here. Now the canonical record. We'll see record. That would be a www dot. It's a web web address, and that would match our host name. Canonical records I just take as meaning exact or to that exact type. I'm sure many of you seen canonical web pages within web page schema matching the web page URL to the exact content of that page. We'll be doing another video on web page schema and canonical tags. Let me just add that. The start of authority record. The name again would just be the host name. The primary server name. If any of you have had third party hostings or for websites, I'm sure you've had a welcome email telling you your primary server name. Just a default would be ns1, and the secondary server name could be ns2 at your domain. Minimum time to live. These are just Microsoft default values, 3,600. It's about 24 hours. Retry time is 600. Mailbox could be webmail.yourhost. Refresh time would be 3600. Expiry time 86400. Just add those, and the final would be the NS record. The name we previously entered, NS1, our host, and the server name would be, in this case, <coughs> DNS-DHCP. We just add that. <coughs> we just expand so you can see all the information is entered correctly. Their address records and their canonical records all matched. You can go to our web browser. Again, we can just enter our domain. That's the domain matches in here. We can just 
edit the HTML, a bit of personalization, again that would just be an HTML. Solutions. Could also enter our IP address one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot thirty one should give us the same results. Run command prompt from our test PC IP config space slash all IP config slash all and there you go it gives the name of our IP address for this PC subnet mask, default gateway, DNS server address, DHCP server address. If you have any questions or comments please leave them below. This is Roger's classes and uh, in the next lesson we'll be configuring VPN over a cloud. I think that will be video 6. Please subscribe for that. Thanks for watching.